Hi, in this video I'll show you how to perform a keyword search using Power Query. Now let's say for example we wanted to be able to do a keyword search and we wanted to bring back all the records that had that specific keyword in this word column. So for example, let's say I want to get anything that has the word generation in here. So I just type generation, press enter, right click on this table, click refresh and anything that has the word generation pops up here in the secondary table. Now you might say that this is something where you can probably just use the filter here, right? You can use the filter and search for keywords. But let's say if this is something where you send to your users and they're not as savvy as using tables, you, they just want you to have a area where they can search something and just type in like, let's say a dash here and any, find anything to have, oops, find anything that has a dash, let's put the dash there, press enter and refresh, right click, refresh, anything that has a dash, it shows up in another table and it's very almost um, user friendly. This might be a solution for you. So let's see how we can do this. Now I've copied my contents from the previous table here and we're going to start from scratch. Let's say we have our table, a range of data here, we're going to turn it into a table, go to insert table. My table does have headers. Click OK. I'll just give this a name instead of this generic table one. I'll just call it um, raw data. Press enter and turn this set into or this this range of data into table two. Go to insert and call it table. My table does have headers. Click OK. I'll call this table key. And I'm going to bring these two tables in as connection only tables into Power Query. So go to data, go to from table and range, bring this in as a connection only. And you can see it picked up the table name, click close and load, close and load to, and this will be a connection only. And this will show up here in the right pane as a connection only. Do the same thing for this one. We're going to do the same thing for the exact keyword column, make turn bring it into Power Query as a connection only table, but let's put a value in there for now. I'll put the value, let's put the value policy. So it'll just pick up maybe that word. It'll pick up that record there right now. So we're going to bring it in, data from table and range, and we're going to bring that particular table in, but we're going to do a little bit of transformation in it. We want to just drill down to that one value. So click in that cell right click, drill down, and it's just going to bring back that word there. And that's all we need for now. Go to home, click close and load, close and load to as a connection only. You can see that's picked up connection only. We only want to create a connection. We don't have one that put at a table here. Now we want to create a copy of this table or a reference of this table because we might assume that the records here could change. So we'll go to right click, go to reference, and this is the table that we'll do a lot of the steps in. What we want to do is add a conditional column. So we add a column, conditional column, and we're going to search for a keyword in this word column. We'll just we'll leave, we'll leave the custom name here, but in the word column, we want to look at something that contains, we'll just put something in here for now. Um, I think there was, uh, let's look at attitude. Attitude. And if it sees attitude in that column, it will bring back the word column, right? Anything else, it will bring back the value of no. Click OK. That should be the only record that has a match. And now we can just filter out the no's. Uncheck that, click OK. And let's bring this particular table, or this one record table, close and load, close and load to, let's put it as a table in our worksheet here. So we're going to put it into the existing worksheet in cell G1. Click OK. But that's not what we want, right? We want to have the exact keyword here. So what we need to do is we're going to go back and change that now. So double click this. And I'll open up my, I'll open, expand this keyword pane. So what we want to do is we want to go into advanced editor. And we want to change that step, that filtered row step. So go into advanced editor where it says attitude here, delete that and type in the word key because that's the name that we gave that query key. And as you type it out, you can see that the IntelliSense from Excel gives you these options. So that's the one that we want. 
that's the keyword that we'll double click that and it'll bring that enter click done and now we have the no values there right we have no values there because when we did the original filter in the row we filtered out everything else right so let's click all and just filter out no because it kept that particular uh, it kept that particular step so click OK and now we should just have policy so now it's changed that to filter out anything that doesn't con anything that doesn't equal no we're going to um, bring it back click close and load that's going to change the policy so let's say that now we have our keyword search so let's say we want to pick out anything that has generation we'll type in the word generation press enter just right click this table click refresh and we should have fifth generation fourth generation if we wanted to pick out any of the words that had any of the records that had a dash in this word column all we need to do is just put in the dash press enter right click this column close this right click this column and click refresh and it'll pick out all the all the uh, columns that had it. You might want to get rid of this column now since our search column we don't need that anymore we just want to bring back this three column table of those records that match. Go back into queries double click that tape that query and the last step I'll do here is just right click and remove column click close and load and we have our three column table with just the records that we want. So we can go crazy here and and let's say that uh, I want to search for anything that says multi, multi, press enter, right click, refresh, and it'll bring back those records that have it. And so you can say it is case sensitive because we have other multis here, this capital M, and we can go and take capital M, press enter, and run right click, refresh, and we'll get everything that is there. Let's double click this to auto fit. So that's why I have this exact keyword there. So I'll probably create another video to do case insensitive uh, type of searches, but this is for a example if you want to do a search for an exact keyword. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.